Hello and welcome to another Learn Learn Scratch tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be doing a cat chasing the mouse game. So this is a great beginners tutorial. If you've never used Scratch before, this is probably the one I'd recommend to get started. So let's get going. Uh, you go to the Scratch website, scratch.mit.edu, and if you click on create, there you go, and it'll let you create your first game. There we go. So once you click on create, it'll pop up with the Scratch uh, little sort of creator suite here. And quick tour, we've got the stage. Here's the stage. That's where uh, all your action or your game actually takes place. And there's uh, here's the first sprite. There's Scratch the sprite. He's down here. You can have lots of sprites and they'll all appear down here. Um, but we've only got Scratch at the moment. And the stage behind him, if you want to edit hit that, you can click on stage, you can change your backdrop and all sorts of things. Um, but first thing we're going to do today is we're going to change Scratch the Cat for a another cat. Uh, sorry, in fact, no, we're going to change it for a mouse. So let's add a new sprite. Click on new sprite and let's go find a mouse. There we go. Mouse, 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 mouse. There he is. Exit. Mouse one. And he's got two costumes, which is what we want. So click OK. There you go. Uh, we've got Scratch the Cat and we've got a mouse. So now at the moment, let's get rid of Scratch the Cat because we don't need him. And let's get the mouse, let's get the cat the mouse moving. So if we want to move the mouse, then what we need to do is we need to code it because computers are pretty stupid. They don't do anything unless you tell them to do it. And this little mouse here, it's pretty much the same. Anything you want them to do, you've got to give them a script. There we go. So what we're going to say at the start of the game here is we're going to say when we press start, and there's your start button, when start clicked, all I want the mouse to do is I want it to turn to face wherever the mouse pointer is. So the mouse faces the mouse. So let's have a go. When start clicked, we go the blue motion blocks, point towards, and there you go, mouse pointer. So now, any time I click start, there you go, click, click, you'll see the mouse turns towards the mouse pointer. And if we move them over here and click start, you'll turn towards the mouse pointer. That's really good. Of course, we don't just want to have to keep clicking start before he moves to the, towards, uh, turns towards the mouse pointer. We want it to keep doing it. So effectively, we want him to sort of keep checking and keep turning towards the mouse pointer. And that'll look a bit like this. Let's show you. There we go. Don't, don't do this code, by the way. I'm just giving you an example. We're going to change this in a second. But there you go. Really, what we want it to do is um, we want it to keep checking, keep checking. So let's see. There's an example. If we press start. And the mouse keeps turning towards the mouse pointer. But of course, we want A, we want it to go faster than one second, and B, we want it to keep checking uh, the mouse pointer forever. So we don't want to do a massive script that will go down here. So instead, what we want to do is we want it to keep checking forever. So we can use a forever loop. There we go. There's our forever. We put the mouse pointer in the forever loop because that's how it works. It's a bit like an oven, really. You know, if you put uh, if you put your cake on top of the oven, it's not going to cook, is it? It's not going to uh, keep cooking it. If you're not, again, if you put it underneath the oven, it's not going to keep cooking it. You've got to put it in. Same with the forever loop. So point towards the mouse pointer. There we go. And now, if we press start, there we go. Wherever we move our mouse. It follows the mouse pointer. There you go. So the mouse follows the mouse. Brilliant. Uh, which is all very well and good, but at the moment the mouse isn't moving anywhere. We want it to move towards the mouse pointer. So we need to go back to our motion blocks and we need the one that says move. There you go. Move. Now at the moment it says move 10 steps. So each time round it's going to move 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Let's have a look at that. That's quite quick, isn't it? That's quite quick. There you go. So He's moving quite quick. That's very good. Probably maybe a little bit too quick. Let's move that back down to seven. Uh, depending on how you want to do your game, you might want to move in quicker or slower. I don't know. But there you go. So move towards the mouse pointer. So far, we've got a mouse that turns towards the mouse pointer and it moves towards it. Good stuff. But we got a bit of a problem because as soon as our mouse pointer, um, as our mouse gets to where the mouse pointer is, it starts doing this crazy little dance. Um, now. I don't know about you, but I don't really like it. It's already giving me a bit of a headache. So we want to stop that. Well, 
first question you've got to ask yourself is why is it doing it well well if we if we slow it down let's just slow it down let's put a weight in there for a second don't do this yourself because um, don't do that but yourself because uh, we're just going to see it if you look now if you move towards it you'll see that what happens is when the mouse gets really close to the mouse pointer it gets to the point where it's gone past the mouse pointer and then it keeps switching back and forth back and forth turning around in the opposite direction so what happens is it gets that close that it has to turn around so what we want to do is we want to say okay if we get within a certain distance of the mouse pointer so if the mouse gets within let's say I don't know 20 points of the uh, mouse pointer let's not um, let's not do anything let's not actually do all this moving in the steps so the way we could do that is we can say we'll do it the other way we'll say if the distance to where is that there we go if the distance to the mouse pointer is greater than 20 20 points there we go by the way I'm saying 20 if you look here that's to do with the coordinates here um, uh, scratch here the actual game it has a it has a coordinate system in the center here it's zero and then it goes the x coordinate goes minus 240 through to plus 240 and you can see it down here the x goes up and the x goes down and it goes up on the y value it goes from let's have a look minus 180 right through to plus 180 so it's like a grid uh, just like in maths you have a coordinate system so what we're saying here is sort of that distance 20 points on that scale there we go and just like that so if the distance to the mouse point there is greater than 20 or uh, whatever the 20 points are then we'll point towards it and we'll do our little move so let's have a look and there you go so if it's far away it'll move but then when it gets less than 20 if it's less than 20 it doesn't um, it doesn't work with this little if statement here the if doesn't work so it stops there you go now that's all very well and good of our mouse which is good but our mouse just sort of seems to sort of glide it doesn't really walk um, and the reason being is that we've only got one fixed costume here at the moment what we really want to happen is we want it to switch between one costume and the next if you look at the mouse the mouse looks like he's moving which is good brilliant there you go so what we the way we do that is we go on to looks things because we're changing how it looks and we just choose next costume let's put it there so now there we go our mouse looks like he's walking now his legs are moving a little bit quick there for me I'd like to move it a little bit slower so what I'll do instead is we'll put a bit of a weight in there and we'll do 0 0.1 seconds I think might be right might be wrong who knows we'll have a go and now there you go it looks like he's walking which is good maybe not point uh, one seconds a little bit too much let's go 0 0.05 I don't know you could have a play yeah that to me looks good for how I want it so 0 0.05 uh, seconds there we go that's that that'll do for me if you want it to walk a bit faster then let's just change the steps back to 10 and the mouse will move a bit quicker while still walking uh, and waggling his tail quite slowly there we go good so there's our mouse all sorted now let's code a bit of the cat so we're going to have a look at a new sprite and this time we'll choose cat2 there we go the reason I've chose cat2 over scratch is because cat2 uh, is uh, sort of a top down view here there we go now cat2 let's have a look on his costumes his scripts sorry um, what we want to do is we want cat2 to, to turn towards the mouse not our mouse pointer and we want him to walk towards the mouse each time so when start clicked same idea as before in fact if you're pretty confident probably now would be a good time to pause the video and have a go at doing it yourself rather than copying what I'm going to do but if you want to watch along then when start clicked forever and point towards this time we're not pointing towards the mouse pointer 
we'll point towards mouse one because there's mouse one's name and we'll move and let's do five steps we don't want the cat to move that quickly there you go there you go so now oops in fact the cat's moving a bit too quick or the mouse is moving slow let's move that uh, 15 steps and we'll move the cat three steps you can have a play with it however you want it there you go so now the cat chases the mouse which is great there we go brilliant do, 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 do. now there's a good start to the game that's all right what we'll do now is we'll click on the stage and let's add a backdrop and we'll click on uh, choose another backdrop from the library which one shall we have I'm gonna have hearts hearts one there we go oh no doily there you go some weird doily background you could choose your own background Ooh, that's a bit weird looks like a big carpet uh, or you can make your own or you could obviously choose one of the original ones and change it if you want it to do like purple or something and uh, you can always just paint, paint it purple you can, oh, that's not working on that one. I don't know why that way oh, it doesn't let me do it um, so but there's my costume uh, there's my stage and there's my um, backdrop for the stage that's okay what I thought we'd do now with it is we'll say okay when the cat touches the mouse or when the mouse touches the cat it's the same thing um, we'll get the mouse to say eek and maybe play a bit of a sound so let's have a look here we go so this time another if statement there we go we can say if do, 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 do. where's touching if touching the cat then we will say eek eek there we go let's see if that works he says eek there we go now the only problem you probably notice there is that if you touch the cat it says eek as soon as you stop touching the cat he still says eek so that's no good there it's no good inside of the script it's just not working so we could try swapping it for this one let's try swapping it for this one where it says eek and let's do eek instead but this one's got a problem too because we press play on that one now what happens is as soon as the cat touches the mouse or the other way around the mouse stops which is not what we want at all. We don't want the mouse to stop. We want to be able to keep running away. Uh, so we can't keep it inside of this script with the other script. So what we need to do here is we'll move it to its own little script. There you go. And now, hopefully, oh, take that one off there, swap it back for the original one. Say eek. Oh, not two seconds, sorry. Same one, we'll do eek, but don't do it for two seconds. We'll do it for 0 0.1, 0 0.5 seconds, here we go. So now, there we go, that's much better. Whenever it touches the uh, tap, cat touches the mouth, it says eek. There we go, eek, 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 good stuff. Brilliant. Probably make the cat a bit slower there. And what we'll also is, if we find a sound from the library, we can, um, we've got an eek sound here. Oh, that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? I think we'll have that one, good. What we'll say is, let's just add this to the cat. Whenever the cat touches the mouse, he's gonna make that sound. So let's have a look, animals, meow. There we go, you'll do, we'll get rid of that one. Good. I'll add another scratch forever. If touching the mouse, where's the mouse? If touching the mouse. Where's my sound? There it is. Play meow. Let's see if that works. Uh, 
Oh, now there's a bit of an issue there, isn't there? There you go. If you notice, what's happening there is, because we've got this loop here, it plays Meow, but it doesn't stop as soon as it starts playing Meow. It keeps on trying to, uh, it keeps coming back through that loop. It doesn't pause while it plays it. It just keeps going through that loop. So, let's try that one. What about that one? Whoa, that's going to give me a headache really, really quickly. So why don't we say, if touching mouse one, play the sound until done, but let's also, why don't we wait? Let's wait five seconds between each time we say meow. Wait for the mouse to get out of the way. There we go. Perfect. Good. And there you go. There is a nice, simple beginner's scratch tutorial with a cat and a mouse um, things you could do to improve it you might want to add some background music uh, that would be a good start also is if you notice with the cat as soon as he comes really close to the mouse he's still doing that crazy little dance so the cat and the mouse um, you want to recode your cat just like you did with your mouse so adapt it so that it'll only uh, move and change costume when it's further away that would be a good start also what you could do is you could duplicate this cat costume here and then either flip it this way just like that that would be one way of doing it so that the cat could dance around as it moves there we are you could do something like that uh, and switch costume that would be another great way uh, but it's a nice easy beginners uh, beginners game and it's always the first one that I do anyway I hope you enjoyed this short little video let me know uh, what you think about it in the comments and uh, give me any suggestions for future videos that you want to do. Thank you very much.